Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. So this is Srinivas. As in this session, we are going to discuss about the syntax and as well as the flow. So flow of if, else if, else, else block. So we are discussing. So here, the people often calling is a if else if ladder also. So generally, here it is in most of the programming languages. This is if, else, if and continuously you can define or in some other languages so we they can say if else if else this is also right and here it is only the names will change as so maybe instead of writing else if the combinedly in some of the programming languages so they will write elif also right see so how the flow will be how the flow means what it will execute right the syntax as well as the flow so first i am writing the syntax if and here it is we are writing that condition suppose this is the condition one if this condition is true then what all the statements you defined inside this block execute suppose here so we are writing statements one statements one and suppose if the condition has failed so we need to provide that optional block so that is else and here it is once again if or you can write elif also else if or elif so else if and here it is a second condition so we are checking if second condition is a true then the second block gets executed if second condition is also false so you can keep on writing so next one else if so we are checking suppose condition 3 condition 3 and here it is a statements 3 execute for this if block is else is there for this if block else is there for this if block else is required but here it is the last else block is optional is your wish it's because already we discussed in case of uh, if else block for every if block else block is optional if you want to provide any optional message you can right so here it is is optional if you write uh, some statements what you defined inside so will get execute this is but here it is how it will check means what sequentially so from top to bottom it will check from top to bottom if first condition is a true then the statements execute the entire else block will be terminated it will skip the execution of all the remaining blocks when the control command check the second statement means only if the first condition is true only if the first condition is true so here it is printing and so like that it will go if all the given conditions has failed then final else block optional else block messages it will print it's a syntax but sir what is that flow as a flow is also very very important so in control structures right so here so this is a flow chart it's a flow all the rules and all the symbols we need to follow so while writing the flow chart so first of all is a start is a start and here the first it is checking that condition one if condition is true the control move inside statements one execute if condition is a false then it will go and check the second condition so the first it will check condition one it will check condition one if condition is true if condition is true then what all the statements you defined inside execute is so nothing but statement one execute statement one and after executing that block it will terminate remaining things will not execute directly directly it will move to end and suppose if this condition has failed if it is a false it will go and check the second condition it's a condition two it's a condition 2 if condition 2 is true then statement 2 executes if condition 2 has failed then it will go and check the third condition if condition 
2 is true then the block second block of statements execute it is a statement 2. After execution then it will send the control to end. If this condition has failed, the condition has failed, this condition has failed then it will go and check the third condition is the next block. So, like that it will go continuously. If third condition is a true at least it will execute the block is nothing but a statements 3 execute then it will move to end. If all the given conditions condition 1 is a false, 2 is a false, 3 is a false then final else block will execute nothing but optional else block statements is nothing but statement 4 statement 4 execute and move to end. So, you, you it is allowed to define n number of blocks n number of blocks, but at a time it will execute only one block statements one block right. So, this is the flowchart and the syntax of if else if later in any programming language to define the logics to implement the logics is right we are using so these flowcharts right hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to Narayshati channel thank you. Thank you.